Hi, this is Jay Arthur, author of Lean Six Sigma Demystified and Lean Six Sigma for Hospitals. Now, back when I worked in the phone company, when I was first getting involved in quality improvement back in like 1990, uh, you know, my boss asked me, what, what, what is this quality improvement stuff? And I said, well, you know, we want to make the company better, faster, and cheaper. And my boss looked right at me and he said this, he said, well, I can give you any two of the three. I can give you better and faster, but not cheaper, cheaper and faster, but not better. You get the idea. And so this was his limiting belief about how things are working. Well, guess what? You know, that's not true, right? You can get all of that and more using quality improvement. And that's probably one of the reasons that that level of thinking in the phone company is one of the reasons that the company I worked for, US West, was eventually bought up by Quest and then eventually went into disarray and was purchased by uh, CenturyLink. And, you know, it's that level of thinking is not good for you, right? Uh, but since then, back in, in, you know, 1999, 2000, whatever, uh, these three companies started to come along and really change how customers think about things. So Amazon, Apple, and Google came along. And guess what? They changed how people think, right? With Google, you can look up anything you want right now and for free. What? What? What's that all about? I can get it right now and free? May not always be perfect, but I can get it right now. Does that make sense? And then Apple said, hey, I want iTunes, right? And you can get any tune you want right now. And we can just download it and charge you and boom. And then Amazon came along with the, uh, uh, the Kindle, right? And so in 2007, you could get any book you wanted right now, right? And it was cheaper than buying a, an actual physical book. Right, so I, I want you to think that they've changed the playing field, the thought process that customers go through about how, what they expect, right? So, you know, it used to be better, faster, and cheaper. I used to tell people that when I was training them. And then I realized about 2007 when the iPhone came out and smartphones and Kindles and all this other stuff, guess what? The landscape has changed. Everybody now wants it free. Right, so Google taught us we can find anything we want right now for free. And we want it perfect. Right, I don't, I don't want mistakes and errors and junk like that. I want perfect, All right? I want perfection, zero defects, and free. Whoops, and uh, now, there we go. So I want to be able to get whatever I want right now for free. And you know, if you give me, if you give me uh, probably perfect and now, I'll pay you something for it. That's the change. This is the this is the ground underneath our feet has shifted, and customers are no longer willing to wait on you to slowly get your act together to make improvements so that you can be a better company and provide a better product. Now, right? And so you want to start using Lean and Six Sigma to speed yourself up to eliminate all your defects, to get flawless, right? Free, perfect, now. That's the new standard. And if you don't live up to it, your company's probably gonna go the way of the phone company, being bought up by somebody else and is eventually dismantled. So that's how it is. It's the future and the future's here now. Start to make those improvements.